In the age of social media, it can be easy to fall into the trap of internalized ageism. Here to share ways to com combat it ahead of National Ageism Awareness Day is actress Marianne Alda. Welcome! Hi! Nice to be here. Yeah, I good watch to you on TV all the time. Well, oh, thank this. you. We watch you. We watch too. you. Oh, well. <laughs> when did you notice ageism creeping into your career? It didn't creep. Oh, did it? It hit me over the head with a sledgehammer. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Yeah. I hit, let's say maybe the, when I was around 55 or so, okay. the casting directors just stopped calling me. Okay. I mean, the phone just stopped ringing. And I thought, well, what am I going to do now? And my agent at the time suggested that I gain 50 pounds so I could do more character work. Oh. Stop it. That's, you know, that's crazy. Because right. my career was mostly an appendage to a man. I was the girlfriend of, the wife of, you know. I was, I was like the pretty girl. What do you do with the pretty girl when she gets old? Okay. Ooh. You stop working. All right. And I but thought, But then you, no. you, it was time to change that narrative. But first, in understand, in changing it, you got to understand it. Have you come to realize, what is it about aging that has Such people so, yeah, yeah, like all up in arms about it? I think it has to do with mortality. Oh. You know, as you're closer to the exit, you get a little nervy, so you try to, you know, go into denial. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But none of us are getting out of this one alive. No. So, <laughs> yeah. Let's be real about this. But, and interestingly enough, I think actors have a natural curiosity about motivation and human behavior. So I still had to make a living, so I became a hypnotherapist. Okay. okay. And I started working with women who were experiencing midlife depression. And I realized that my job was not to hypnotize them, but to dehypnotize them from the trance that we're all under into believing that women lose value and social and sexual currency with age. Yeah. All right. I don't that, think it's, it's sprinkle, you know, sprinkle, girl. Right? Right? right. Sprinkle. Okay. And, and they, these were women who had everything. And they, they, they had. They were successful. They had careers. And they were not feeling good about themselves. And I thought, well, that's... That's really. ridiculous. It's so unbelievable because you think about your 20s and 30s, you, you're not real smart yet. You don't have a lot of money. Like, it, it's not even until you get older that you can start to appreciate the world around you anyway. Oh, honey, I'm 75, and let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, you bring a lot to the table. So much so that AARP has recognized your work. Yeah. Yes, they have recognized me as an age disruptor. Mm -hmm. I have a solo show, Getting Old as a Beep, but I'm going to wrestle that beep to the ground because I don't, this is daytime television. Yes, I don't yes. Say the B word. Uh, and I do a lot of stand up comedy. Okay. And my audience is primarily older women. Yeah. And, but they relate but to they what relate you're talking to about. Yeah. yeah, oh, absolutely. For example, I take hard truths and I deliver them with comedy. Okay. For example, I'm a uterine cancer survivor. And I talk about my having a hysterectomy. I say I don't feel like I'm any less of a woman because I don't have a womb. My hysterectomy is like an internal Brazilian. If you're going to landscape <laughs> the runway, why not declutter the terminal? All right. <laughs> I love that. Okay, well, also, what is SNAP? Okay. Snap is a technique that I devised okay. to get women to snap out of that trance, okay. to snap out of internalized ageism. So it's double S, double N, triple A, triple P. Self-love, self-care, NLP, which is neuro-linguistic programming, which is self-talk. Mm -hmm. No, the power of no. Awareness, appreciation, acceptance for the things we cannot change. Mm -hmm. Passion, <laughs> purpose, and pride. Okay. And pride is really important because a lot of women, as they get older, they say, oh, I'm just going to let myself go. I don't have to worry about those oh, things. Oh I don't do that no. anymore. But you know what? If our body is the temple for our soul, they put flowers on altars, don't they? They mm -hmm. sure do. You know? So let's dress it up. I love yeah. that. All right. And then there's a, a, a National Awareness of Ageism Awareness Day? Tomorrow, okay. Okay. October 7th, is National Ageism Awareness Day. And what takes place on this day, and what are we, we, we recognizing okay. here? We are recognizing the fact that ageism exists. It's the last acceptable uh, prejudice. Mm. Okay. You know, sexism, racism, mm -hmm. ableism. But for some reason, people think it's okay to be ageist. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the comics still make older people the butt of the joke. Mm -hmm. It's not funny. 
As a matter of fact, according to Becca Levy, who did a, a study at Yale University, people who have a positive attitude about getting older live on average seven and a half years longer wow. okay. than people who have a negative attitude. And don't you want that extra seven and a yes. half years? Yes, 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 I do. do. Yes, we do. All oh right, so gosh. what are we doing to, to uh, uh, recognize this day? Okay, we are just, well, here. I have little things Ooh. here for you. Ooh. I have a little gift for you. I okay. love this. Open it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're just going to do the S from the snap technique. Well, that's okay. a little affirmation card. Oh, okay. 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 All right. And there's a little, uh, okay, a little mirror that says aging shamelessly. Mm -hmm. Open it up. There's okay. a little mirror. All right. All right. And I am end. strong. I am worthy. I am enough. I am strong. I am worthy. I am enough. All right. Every morning, start off your day when you're brushing your teeth, you're looking in the mirror. Tell yourself, I am strong. I am worthy. I am enough. That's the way to start off your day. And when anything negative comes along during the rest of the day, go back to that. That centers yourself. That's the, that's the way I start my day. Right. That there you is go. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you, you so much for coming in. Thank uh, you Mary Annaldispeaks.com is the website. We really appreciate it. Thank fantastic. you. Right. Thank you.